HCPT has been hugely important in my life. Um, in fact, Lourdes has been hugely important in my life, and most of that has been through HCPT. The very first time I went with a, to Lourdes, it was with a big Darston pilgrimage, which I thought was wonderful. Um, and as usual, I was overwhelmed by everything that was going on in Lourdes. Uh, and it was uh, just a side of Catholicism uh, and Christianity that I hadn't really experienced before. And I almost felt it was the gospel actually being lived. But when I was on that Darson pilgrimage, the head nurse on the pilgrimage uh, whispered in my ear one day, if you are enjoy enjoying this, I think you'd enjoy HCPT even more. Now, um, I was by then already uh, a trained surgeon, um, and I thought, well, maybe I can be some help and some use. So I agreed to go with Group 73 in, from Cardiff. And in fact, I've been every year since 1979, bar, with, bar one year. And I think why HCPT is so important, and particularly in the Lourdes context, is that it is the one pilgrimage that is exclusively orientated towards the needs of people with, towards the needs of either disabled people or people with other special needs. Although I think the other pilgrimages are, are very, very important and are a very good way to go, this is the only one where that is the, the real raison d'etre of, 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 of the pilgrimage. Now, after I've been going with Group 73, I think it was four or five years, the regional uh, officials from Wales, HCPT, came to me and said, do you know anyone who might be interested in forming a Hosan House group. And foolishly, of course, I said, oh, I might be interested in doing that. So then, together with, with my co-conspirator, Veronica Klo, without whom I couldn't really have uh, done all that I'd done with Hosan House, we formed a group that went for the first time in, uh, gosh, I can't remember, 1983 or 1984, around about that anyway. And again, we've been every year uh, to Hosanna House since that time, again, bar one. Um, and it, it has just had such a huge influence on everything that I do. I think I think it's a, uh, an aspect of Christianity that one sees in Lourdes, which you don't always see normally at home. Um, it, is, it is about uh, doing things for, for the most needy. Um, and perhaps we don't always quite see that in parish life. Uh, so that's part of what's important to me. I think it's, it's, it's influenced the way that um, I've actually practiced professionally, um, because I think from early days then, I began to think that you had to see Christ in every other person, and that included patience. Um, and so I think that's been very helpful in, in the way that I've practiced. I think Lourdes and particularly HCPT also has such a, a special charism for young people and that is one of the most impressive things I think about HCPT is the way that it infuses young people to act out Christianity um, and I, I know of a lot of young people who perhaps are still seen at home by their families as not perhaps having quite grown up but you see them in Lourdes within the really safe structure of an HCPT group grow up before your eyes and take on responsibilities uh, and uh, and do things that perhaps those people at home never, never believed they were capable of, but they do. And I think that's one of the most wonderful things about HCPT and Lourdes as a whole.